This case is just a mystery. We're just trying to unravel what happened. A Navy veteran's family desperate for answers after he was found on the sidewalk with a bloody head. Now they're going door to door trying to find out what happened moments earlier. Today, 10 News reporter Michael Chen retraced that man's steps. And he found clues pointing to two very different theories. In an instant, a hard fall on the concrete for a man who cannot remember much. Now his family trying to figure out what happened to him. I just have a question for you guys. In North Park. I'm looking for a manager. Andrea Bribiazga is looking for witnesses. It's heartbreaking. Who may know how her brother, Navy veteran Tima Garay, it is a mystery. Ended up on this sidewalk, bloodied, bruised, and left with a brain injury. Ten days ago, during a Saturday night out. He had taken an Uber to come here. Sometime after 10, Garay ended up at 30th and El Cajon. He was walking amongst uh, El Cajon Boulevard. Rebiesca says he was headed to a restaurant or bar, but never made it. A bystander found him having a seizure on the cement. It's panic. Bribiesca learned about it several days later. And is worried. When Gray was finally able to help hospital staff track down his family. My to the and I was brought to the hospital. Gray recorded this video from his hospital bed. Doctors believe he had a seizure based on that bystander's account. Fell to the curve and left here. But Gray remembers it differently, despite severe short-term memory issues. I know that I was on my way to a different establishment. I know that I got here from behind. Gray believes it was a car, but his sister believes it could have been a person. You have any type of uh, video surveillance? She's going door to door to find her answers. We need justice to be served. We're just trying to unravel what happened. Michael Chen. 10 years.